here's what the internet Ooh. was concerned about last night. Oh, we don't ever care about the internet, do we? We shouldn't, but big surprise, it was Russell Westbrook and how he's integrating with the Lakers. You can see here he is, pregame huddle again in the third quarter. The rest of the teammates are huddled up. Uh, Shanae, how much do we actually need to make of this? Don't read too much into all these videos. I would say one in pregame, everyone has their own routines. Even if you saw the toss there, like he tossed and someone knew that he was going to catch the shirt. Like one, that free, uh, that free throw, he fouled and it was an uh, and one. Everyone has a heat of the moment reaction to that. Mm. I would read more. What? Do you not have a heat of the moment reaction to an and one foul? I oh, do. No, 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 no. I just remember on the call this morning there was a term that you used. Oh, well, look, I think <laughs> Okay, if this this is this is the moment in preseason right now. If this is midseason, that yeah. could look more yeah. like an act of defiance. But when you're reacting, you already know that when yes. you foul and it's an and one, you're going to be mad for a moment. I would have done the same thing that Russ did. Mm. I think more concerning is that he's one for three from the field, played 25 minutes. They're trying to say, we need to get you to incorporate screening more. Like, you don't want Russ passive, but you also want him to be productive. And so that's going to be a conundrum. We also saw this video, Malika, where it's like, clearly it's frustrations. And there's some ping pong being played on a basketball court. Yeah. But yeah, like you can take some of these clips out of context and think that their problems are bigger. Their problems are on the court, not necessarily with Russ's behavior. Well, the, the context here seems to be important, right? This is something where in a couple of weeks, a couple of months, if other things happen, we may look it's back different. on this moment. But for right now, you just sort of have to leave it with what exactly. it is. Ryan, there was something else that was concerning to you, though, that had really nothing to do with these videos. The, the Lakers just haven't had an opportunity to play their guys together at all. And I know, Richard, you pointed out in the preseason, that's, you know, somewhat normal. But this is needed for the Lakers. They have a whole new system, a whole new coach. They're asking Russell Westbrook to play a lot. He's barely played with LeBron James and Anthony Davis in this new role alongside Patrick Beverly. Um, Lonnie Walker, who's a key player that they added, their biggest offseason signing, he's now injured for the second time, only played a couple of minutes last night. He missed some games early. I mean, you know, Dennis Schroeder, he misses like two weeks with visa issues. For the last decade, the Lakers have always had a very backloaded schedule because they've loaded up for TV after football season. That's not the case anymore. The networks aren't holding back great Laker games. As a result, Normally, they have a, an easier November. They have a hard November. My gosh, look at next week. Their first two games are Warriors and Clippers. Mm. Um, they, they, do, they don't have the luxury uh, on the way this team is built and how difficult the West is to get off to a sluggish start. And I'm a little bit worried about it because they don't have any reps together as a group. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.